Please pardon me not using video editor or the microphone, but I am not feeling well and that seems like a lot of work even though I know you guys are worth it. I know that I have friends out there, but at the moment I'm high on medication. <sighs> you should see me trying to walk. <sighs> yeah. Una una aided, I mean. You ever get one of those itch things inside the nostril and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it because like it would take, I don't know, a wire brush or something. So, eight weeks ago I went on a extreme hike above 10,000 feet, approximately 10,536 feet. And it was a very long hike. It was very rough. It was steep and with a high altitude and just moisture streaming out of my body and far longer than I had expected it to be. I passed out twice on the trail. Yes, I know there's no excuse. Even a person my age could have done it safely, not pass out. Um, I just did not know the conditions that I was going to be in until I was deep in the forest shit. And it took several days for me to recover once I got back to my vehicle. To give you an idea of just how bad it's off I was. Um, I got back to my vehicle at 6. Knew that the restaurant in town was going to close by 7. So not being able to see the highway, I climbed into the vehicle. Actually, I could barely see the fucking dashboard of the car. <laughs> and I slalomed down the mountain and made it through the restaurant doors, panting, wheezing, and bent over and unable to see. Sat down and ordered chili relleno plate. I then slept in the restaurant parking lot that night because there's no fucking way I could drive. I mean safely. <sighs> so I got <sighs> over that and then I got food poisoning and that kicked my ass for almost 10 days. Well I guess about 10 days. Less than two weeks. I felt like I had shit out of my backside every internal organ that I had. So that was no fun. I probably don't have to tell most people that it was not fun. And then, a couple weeks later, I got a kidney stone the size of a suckling pig. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Maybe it was that large. Maybe... A newborn pig, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen pigs in a while. <sighs> so, I went to the emergency room. Uh, they poked, poked me, prodded me, uh, filled me with fluids, drained me, um, bariumed me, scanned me, palpitated, and sent me home again with all this. As soon as I am finished doing the summer and fall chores here at the ranch, I will have time to make more videos. And I have a shitload lined up. And I'm going to go after the evil bastards who yeah. pretend to sell cures for autism. They will be my darling come late fall and early winter. If you ask me, dragging them in the streets and tarring and feathering them is the least that should happen to them. Other than that, I am getting better.